Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Richard Flynn. Welcome everyone to my Black Clover episode 47 and 48 review. Yes, I know, late. Didn't watch last week's episode. The other one just came on, so I figured I'd put them both into a review. I mostly have done it with Boruto and etc. like that before on this channel. It's just me being lazy, not watching the episodes and putting the review up for you guys. But either way, let's jump into episode 47. Episode 47 here today, you gotta wonder, Black Clover, it's reaching the finale, or so we thought. We have some big Black Clover news here, but I'll do that in a separate video. But for episode 47, we want to know how is the underwater temple are going to end, which of course we're going to get our last thing right here which we get or the start of the Asta, Finn and Vanessa fight against Vito and oh my god I am ready for this there's also one more character that is coming into this fight but I'm pretty sure they'll be showing that here actually I haven't even watched episode 48 while I'm talking about episode 47 right here but they'll probably do that in 49 or 50 but in episode 47 here today we start right off with a five minute recap which Oh my gosh, like they, they put some parts in, you know, this episode, like into like the recap, but for this being so long, it just felt like we were watching episode 46 here again. Like we know what happened, we know that Vito discovered this mystical beast magic, or I guess his hidden power, you know, the third eye that he has. And of course, Asta saving Noelle from Vito's power when she drains all of her magic from, you know, the dragon's lair that she like learned, which was pretty awesome by the way, that was her final character development. But as like a recap thing, I was like, okay, let's just get into the episode right here. We're wasting a lot of time, but I'm glad that at least this episode was good because if the episode was bad, in my opinion, this could have been one of the worst Black Clover episodes, but they surpassed it. When I'm always talking about these reviews and especially about Underwater Temple Arc, we're gonna get a lot of character development, especially from the Black Bulls. And it's kind of been in order so far. You know, like we got Magna, we got Luck, we had Osto, and Noel, we had Gosh, and now it's Vanessa's turn right here. And it's pretty cool because we haven't seen Vanessa's magic whatsoever. You know, ever since Black Clover has started, we know that she's a drunk, she's always laying around, you know, she's just a typical Black Bulls member, how she's lazy. But since Asta came, you know, to the Black Bulls, everyone's kind of been surpassing their limits. And we see, you know, her magic in this episode, which is the red magic. And her character, man, I'm just excited just because this is a big development for her, you know, as a Black Bull member or even Black Clover member in general. And also she's gonna get a Another big development here soon in the arc which I'll talk about in a separate video but it's pretty cool on this uh, she's fighting a Midnight Sun member which I kind of like you know at least they're giving these goons a little bit of praise a little bit of character development her versus him and the goon member uses mosquito magic which is kind of just sucking the mana off somebody and gaining their power which we kind of actually see th through Vanessa's thread magic in this which she's pretty talented you know she may not look like it but she's a pretty smart individual we get we get like a little fight between her and the goon uh, you know just completely traps him with her thread magic and at the work she's going to go uh, towards Austin the game because you know this is the point where Vito uncovers his big magic you know people on the mainland that we see Baha you know trying to help the other I guess magic you know kind of goons or you know the magic uh, emperors that are helping uh, you know the wizard king you know kind of you know the soldiers there so Vito's power is pretty strong and so we even see Austin in this episode of how he even got up in the first place of Kohono using her final magic ability to help Asta out which of course Asta you know his full magic or his power is not given up that was his character that was introduced for him you know throughout the Black Clover series I guess you could say he's copying off Naruto or example like that it just always been a thing back and forth right here we also see Finn's development right here and I'm so glad that they went throughout this rope because it is Finn's character you know Finn is a coward and I feel like anime watchers when they're watching this episode here today might not like Finn's character at all because there is a point in this episode where you know he even sees Magna and Luck on the ground you know they're passed out you know they're on the deadbed we have Asta risking his life to save Noel and defeat this guy you know he's even you know risking himself to go up against this powerful opponent and we thought that Finn was gonna leave like he's uh, that kind of 
guy where you know light was uh you know full on right that you know the third eye members are stronger than him when it comes to combat so when he was thinking about this he was thinking about believing but of course Vanessa shows up and what I really like about this episode and they made it clear and it's been like that throughout Black Clover is that if Austin didn't join the Black Bulls they wouldn't have been in this position whatsoever they wouldn't have even gone to the underwater temple arc this is just how important Austin's character is towards the series because we're at the point now where all the Black Bull members are getting that big character development they're surpassing their limits you know they're go they're getting magic or this magical power that they would have not even got like for example you look at Gosh's character has that big character that he's actually caring about other people his mirror magic is getting stronger you know we even see Vanessa with her thread magic that that's gotten strong uh, Finn actually coming out of the shadows and fighting towards people uh, you know uh, we have Noel uh, finally uncovering you know her water magic she was able to control some of it and it's good to Oz's character there that you know everyone is surpassing the limits to be better magic knights you know and if it wasn't for him they would have been at that slumber they would have been lazy they would have been at negative stars and it's just a cool thing that they brought out with this episode that everyone cares towards Oz's character that it's thanks to them that they are here now so then we get the fight between Vanessa Finn and Asta versus Vito. It's going to continue on with next episode, but it was such a good fight and I love it that, you know, we have all these characters, their developments, their powers working together because Asta right now, he's a combat type, you know, he ha the only thing that he has is a sword and his speed that he's been training all of his life. And of course we have, you know, uh, Finn, which his magic is spatial magic, which if he has seen a place before, for example, if he goes to Vegas and he's seen all of that, he could use his space magic to teleport there. So it's mostly he teleports Asta back and forth so it's hard for Vito to hit him. We even see uh, with Vanessa as well that she uses her thread magic to kind of control Asta like a puppet. You could say that it's kind of like a conqueror kind of thing, you know, puppets, etc. like that. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool thing. I think the fight's awesome, you know, then distracting Vito with the rock, Asta getting him with the sword at the very end, and that was episode 47. I think it was great. There was some stuff where the anime was a little bit choppy here or there. It's kind of like that for Black Clover. Unfortunately, it's going down that road just a little bit of where the animation is not too great. But this episode all together was awesome. The only thing I could say bad about this episode was that like, kind of five minute recap with the episode and a little bit of choppy from the animation. But either way, I thought it was great. We had good Vanessa development, uh, Noelle Austin development. Of course, we had Finn development. We even see uh, Yami in this episode trying to get that development. Uh, you know, the fight scenes, the action, of course, against Vito. And I think with episode 47 here, guys, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. We've been to episode 48 of Black Clover, which of course is still going on with the fight between Vanessa, Asta, and Finn versus against Vito. And the one thing, the animation just got worse with this episode, which is really sad. And by the way, there's a big thing with the animation that I'm going to be talking about in a separate Black Clover video, which you guys will see, of course, my preview here of these two episodes and then a separate one. I'll kind of explain all that, but the animation with this fight, I really hate it because this is a fight that I've been looking forward to. Like, the two fights I was looking forward to was this one and the Magna and Luck vs. Vito, which the Magna and Luck one, they did really good. I thought the animation was really clean. But with this one, it was just like it's just depressing at my point because we thought that the finale of Black Clover was going to reach and of course maybe they'll make like a second season or something like that but the fight with them against Vito like it was epic you know you had the music you know you had the Black Bulls working together you thought this would be cool but some of the scenes where Austin's versus Vito it just looks terrible like this looks like it was the worst animation that Black Clover had yet and this episode was good not gonna lie it was a good episode, but it just that animation was flocky all around it. You know, we even have points in this episode where we had Gosh, Charmy, and Grey come into the fight here as well, which we know a little bit about Charmy's power, that that sleeping magic uh, ability that she has, you know, the giant sheep, that powerful move that knocked out the witch in the Clover Destruction arc, and also against that metal dude, or that, I guess, that vine dude, uh, sorry, um, that she was versing to protect Gosh and Grey from, that drains all 
over magic, so that's a little bit of character development that we get from Charmy right there. But I guess it's a pretty cool act that we have mostly all the Black Bolt members working together to defeat this individual. Because, you know, if they lose, it's really bad for all the Clover Kingdom, it's bad for the Underwater Temple Arc, and it's just a change for the Black Bulls in general that everyone's all working together. You know, they used to always be their separate people, you know, doing their own path, but now they find courage. And it's like I said in my episode 47 preview that you guys just watched just a little bit, that uh, it's thanks to Asta that everyone's all together here. So it's a pretty cool moment. But I guess the cool part and also the worry part in this episode, trust me, this thing, it was like, okay, a little bit of hype, the animation, but it just went all confused. If you're a manga reader, you will understand why this episode was so confusing for you. So we get the Vanessa and Finn backstory, which I always said, and I'm saying a lot in these reviews, that every Black Bolt member will have its character development in this arc. And we get Vanessa and Finn, which we haven't known about their characters whatsoever. You know, Finn's character was a guy that always shows off you know he's a scaredy cat he always wants to go and try to get a girlfriend while Vanessa is just always sitting around and being a drunk that was kind of her character but we get the character backstory which if you're a Vanessa and Finn fan this is an episode here for you because Vanessa's character as you can tell they're hinting the witch arc here this is something that's gonna be happening very soon in Black Clover which we see her and it's a pretty sad background you know her locked up in a cave Age, you know wanting to go and find a boyfriend or find friends because she's always lonely but she wants to give praise to the witch queen I don't really want to say anything a lot more just because I'll be talking with that in my other black clover separate review but it's also a sad background what we get from Vanessa there while on Finn's side we get a huge character development for Finn this is gonna be big for his character going into more black clover because we get introduced kind of with his family side and to his younger brother Langris, if I am saying his name correctly, which this guy complete I, I just I hate his character and a lot of the manga readers and I know I'm gonna be saying manga readers a lot throughout this episode right here but trust me his brother you guys are gonna hate him in the future of Black Clover when the tournament arc happens but yeah so we see him you know he's a superior magic knight yeah he was even promoted to the vice captain of the Golden Dawn so that's only one step down to William Vengeance's character so we know that he's a really talented dude and the reason why Finn is such a coward and he doesn't want to fight people is because the backstory he doesn't want to hurt anybody he's that individual that wants to be friends with everyone he doesn't want a war to happen and no one to fight so that's why he's the character who he is now and why he doesn't want to fight people but the big supportive character and the development that he got in this episode is he needs to find a fight path his way since he doesn't want to fight individuals he could be a support magic knight you know I guess role to everyone in the Black Bulls. So for example, he's with Vanessa helping Asa take out Vito. He will be like that in the future of Black Clover now that he can help people, you know, kind of move around and help others defeat, you know, the enemies as we see Vito in this episode. So huge development for Finn. I kind of like Finn's character. I feel like this is big for him now. It's just like with Gosh, for example, that Gosh was a guy that only cared for his sister. He was kind of that ass in the episodes, but it was thanks to that cave arc that made his character something big as we even saw in this episode he's actually going to help Asta and the others defeat Vito so it's like Finn in this episode which is really awesome I'm kind of glad that you got to those developments and it's just great for this arc as well that the Black Bulls are getting those character developments you know to show their powers and to show that they could be likable characters because you know starting off with Black Clover a lot of people might have hated these characters but it's thanks to maybe just this arc alone that you guys can maybe change your minds about them so it's a really cool a lot of stuff hinted to the future of black clover and what is going to happen of course we still continue with the fight scene with Vito, them surpassing the limits to be better magic knights but this is the part that worries me the most and i'm talking about the very end we're going into the next episode right here because black clover i think they're going down a path that's different from the manga and that's something that i am really scared about it's something that i want to talk about 
in my separate Black Clover review. If you guys are manga readers or want to figure out, go watch that video. I don't really want to try to promote myself a lot, but I just want to keep this video spoiler free. So that's a really like troublesome worry for Black Clover where it wants to go down because personally I'm scared. I'm hoping they're following through because they have been following throughout the manga. They have. There are some stuff you know here or there that are missing and it is really disappointing. But at the exact same time, it's always just like any other like shonen series or just anything like that. They'll follow through, I guess, the book or the manga and it'll go and adapt and anime you know a lot of people give this anime crap just because they do kind of drag the episodes on a little bit i ain't gonna lie about that like there's some episodes even at the start of black clover that's like all right hurry up and get to the point already or there's terrible animation as we saw in this episode but this episode all in all i thought it was great you know it just mostly uh you know we had character development for vanessa and finn we also see of course the action between them going against uh Vito. we also see uh some i guess character development or some stuff that we get from yami and of course Black Bulls working together to take Vito down. So I think with this episode here today, guys, I'm just going to give it a 7 out of 10. Trust me, I think this would be a better episode if it did have the better animation. I thought the story was kind of good of where it leads, and we're getting closer and closer to that episode 51 mark. And if you guys want to watch, like I said, my Black Clover review right here, I'm totally going to be talking about spoilers and the future of Black Clover because we got a lot of new hints of what we're going to be going down here for you know the series so if you guys enjoyed my episode 47 and 48 review here guys make sure to leave a like comment down below what you thought of these episodes and subscribe to the channel that'd be greatly appreciated i'll try to keep these episodes separately i hate always doing these uh two episodes you know gathering together it's not just because it's a long video it's just because of my laziness and i need to really step up and watch these episodes hurry up and get the reviews out here for you guys but thank you for all your positivity here everyone we'll see you guys in more black cover videos on the channel much love and as always guys have your yourselves a wonderful day.